Hi, my name is Tori and today I will be talking about Polybor. This is part of my series where I talk about websites that no longer exist to kind of immortalize them and to talk about their impact on our culture. So Polybor was an app that started in 2007 until 2018 and it's really hard to describe this app because it had so many features but pretty much it was a virtual styling app where you could create mood boards and collages related to fashion, beauty, and home decor but there was really so much more to it. And also purchase the items that were on the website and this was kind of like a symbiotic relationship with sellers and the users because the users could purchase the items on the website as well as give advertisement for the items to other sources. It created this web of um, sharing information and getting your brand out there as well. So Polybor was really the pioneer for these mood boards and you might recognize them from Tumblr, Instagram, or like TikTok. I googled mood board aesthetic outfits so you can kind of see like what Polyvor sets looked like. So now I'm gonna hack my way into the Wayback Machine and show you what Polyvor used to look like. This was from March 7th, 2018. So this is what the homepage looked like, it featured top sets, contests, all these different things. And this website is a little glitchy so some things might be missing, but I just wanted to show what it looks like to create a set. So you were able to search by category, price, color, and even designer. You can like type it in what you're looking for specifically. So Polybor really had a lot of unique features that really brought the community together. And one of them was questions. I think they ended up like deleting this after a while, but I really loved it. I was such a fan of this. It was so much fun. Um, so people would ask questions and I remember someone asking a question like, oh, can you help me make like hipster outfits? Cause it was 2015 and you were able to respond with sets and answer their questions. And it was just so fun and it made you feel like a stylist. And another feature was groups. There were so many different groups. The ones that I was a part of were like fandom related. So Panic at the Disco, Fall Out Boy, MCR. And within those groups, there would be like contests like make an outfit for like a concert that you're going to. It was just so cute and fun and um, I love that. And there was also contests throughout the whole Polybor where different brands would reach out to Polybor, I guess, and users would be able to make sets based on that brand or product. So I remember there was one by Skinny Cow, the ice cream company, and you just had to like incorporate like the ice cream in the set. and. It was just pretty fun. Um, it would also give you a lot of exposure. And then the cool thing would be that if you ended up winning, you would have like an award or a trophy like on your profile. So it would show like, you're kind of like that, you know? There was also such good organization. You can like each item and it would actually end up showing up when you were ready to make a set. And I remember being really into looking for cute like filler items like later like add it to my outfits because like those sets that I really loved you would have like your item and then in between like the little like negative space you would add like the little items if that makes sense and it would just make everything look so cohesive and aesthetic. April 2018 Polyvor posted on their blog they announced that they were acquired by Sense which is also a fashion platform that was more focused on consumption and then creation. Sense decided to immediately shut down Polyvore. It seems like Sense was trying to absorb Polyvore's user base by collecting their data and redirecting traffic to Sense, but instead this backfired because Polyvore's users were more focused on the creation aspect. They said that you had one month to retrieve everything and Polyvore would no longer exist. They also show this like love letter post, it's really sweet and it's really makes me a little sad. This was so sad and heartbreaking because so many people really loved this site and there was such a big community there. A lot of people didn't even know that you can retrieve all your information, so they lost everything. They lost all their art, all their sets, um, and what was really heartbreaking was the fact that some people lost connections. A lot of people had so many connections with other Polyvore users and that connection was gone have no way of contacting their friends, their long lost friends, and I think it's so heartbreaking and sad because it was just such a wholesome community. It really was. 
So Sense is pretty much like a retail website. They feature Kim Kardashian's Skims collection um, on there, so that just kind of gives you an idea of like the audience. And they also have articles on there as well, um, some original content, which is completely different from Polyvore. So many people were devastated by this news. Um, comments on Instagram, on Twitter, for Polyvore to be brought back. There was even a petition started and still to this day, people still comment on Polyvore's last post announcing sense and people are still so sad about it. Jess Lee is the co-founder and former CEO of Polyvore. So I read some of her posts and her perspectives on what happened to Polyvore. So in this post, she gets a question. Hi Jess, to the extent that you're comfortable, would you mind sharing a little bit about how you felt and what it was like after Polyvore's acquisition and how you addressed the sadness of Polyvore's core users that the site and its function would no longer be available? She was nice enough to answer this and Jess said, Yahoo acquired Polyvore in 2015, telling the team that we'd successfully been acquired after eight years of blood, sweat, and tears with a real career high. I was worried that they wouldn't be satisfied with the outcome, so I printed out spreadsheets with everyone's earnings calculations along with handwritten thank you notes. When I told the team, they started cheering, and I think I started crying from relief and happiness. We celebrated the rest of the day and no one wanted to go home. Sense acquired Polyvore from Yahoo in 2017 and immediately shut down the website with no warning. I was not at the company at the time and didn't know the details of the transaction, but I woke up to angry tweets and death threats on my Instagram from our understandably upset community. Many community members who had known each other for 11 plus years suddenly lost their one way of contacting each other without warning. Personally, I was deeply saddened to see my baby gone and I still haven't really gotten over it. Sad face. But I guess that's the cycle of consumer internet and mobile. It's rare for companies to stick around for over a decade, and perhaps I should be proud that our company was still so passionate after 11 years. This is an article from the website belltag.com, which shows alternatives and gives you a feel of the different options. They even mention each alternative's pros and cons. And the one that most Polyvore's users started using is called Eurostyle because of the similar features. And here is the create a set section and it's pretty similar in the way that it shows you the price and also the brand and website. There is a whole Polyvore tab where the co-founder talks about the different features that are similar to Polyvore and how they are working to make the users happy. Um, but this was written three years ago, so I'm not really sure how active it is still. Polyvore really did create a special place for people that could experiment with different styles and really hone into a new aspect of creativity, and that was virtual styling. A lot of people don't really have access to certain pieces or certain styles. Sometimes you just want to play around with a certain aesthetic. Um, you're not really sure if it's going to work for you or if it's something that you really like, but being able to play with that digitally really changed the game for people. And it really let you figure out what your style was and that was so special. So I wish that still exists. I know your style and other alternatives exist and I'm gonna leave resources in my description, but we do miss Polyvore a lot and um, the community is still strong. I still see people making mood boards and aesthetic um, kind of things. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please give it a like if you did and subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. I make videos on sustainability, fashion, lifestyle, and of course the series which will be immortalizing websites that no longer exist. Thank you so much, bye.